in this question we are having six signal waveforms and all the time domain signals we are having here are real in nature and the question is having four different parts you can see the question is having four different parts and we will answer all the four parts one by one so let's move to the first part of the question in the first part the question is asking us to find the time domain signals whose Fourier transforms real part is equal to zero so we have a b c d e f six signals and we need to choose all the signals whose Fourier transforms real part is equal to zero so let's see how we can solve this part of the question to get the answer we will find out the scenario which will give us real part of x omega equal to zero real part of x omega is equal to zero this implies the Fourier transform x omega is purely imaginary and we know the Fourier transform x omega will be purely imaginary when signal xt is real and odd in this scenario the corresponding Fourier transform will be imaginary and odd we can write the Fourier transform x omega equal to real part of x omega plus j imaginary part of x omega and as x omega is purely imaginary real part of x omega will be zero and this is what we are looking for real part of x omega should be zero so real part of x omega is equal to zero when xt is real and odd in the question it is given that xt is real signal so this information is of no use because all the six signals are real in nature so we will focus on the second information which is telling us that xt is an odd signal and if you look at the waveforms you will find signal a is an odd signal signal b is not an odd signal signal c is also not an odd signal signal d is an odd signal e is an even signal f is an even signal so the answer is signal a and signal d so first part is having the answer a and d now we will move to the second part in the second part we need to find out the time domain signals whose Fourier transforms imaginary part is equal to zero this means the Fourier transform x omega is purely real so this part is homework for you solve it and once you have your answer post it in comment section now we will move to the third part of the question in the third part we need to find the time domain signals whose Fourier transforms integration with respect to omega from minus infinity to plus infinity is equal to zero so we will use the property of Fourier transform we know the property using which we can calculate the area under the frequency domain signal x omega it is equal to 2 pi multiplied to corresponding time domain signal when t is equal to 0 so we can write this integration is equal to 2 pi multiplied to x 0 and we want this integration to be 0 and this will be 0 when x 0 will be equal to 0 so this implies x 0 should be 0 to have the result of integration equal to 0 now look at the signal waveforms and you can easily find whether the signal is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 or not signal a is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 signal b is also equal to 0 signal c is also equal to 0 d is also equal to 0 e is also equal to 0 but f is not equal to 0 so the answer we are having in the third part is signal a signal b signal c signal d and signal e now we will move to the fourth and last part of the question in the fourth part it is asking us the same type of question but here 
the Fourier transform is omega multiplied to x omega. Here the Fourier transform was x omega, but now we are having the Fourier transform omega multiplied to x omega. So let's call it x1 omega. So we are having a Fourier transform x1 omega and if we can find out its corresponding time domain signal x1t then using this same process we can easily calculate the answer. So let's try to find out signal x1t. We know signal xt is having the Fourier transform x omega and if we differentiate xt with respect to time one time then using the property the Fourier transform will become j omega multiplied to x omega. Now we will divide both the sides by j. This will give us 1 over j dxt over dt and the Fourier transform will be omega multiplied to x omega. So we are having the Fourier transform we were looking for and this Fourier transform is having the corresponding time domain signal equal to x1t and x1t is equal to 1 over j dxt over dt. Now using the same logic integration minus infinity to plus infinity omega x omega d omega will be equal to 0 when x1 0 is equal to 0. So let's put t equal to 0 here and equate it with 0. So we will have 1 over j dx0 over dt equal to 0 or we can write dx0 over dt equal to 0. So this is the slope at origin. This is the slope of signal xt at origin and if the slope at origin is equal to 0 then we can say that our signal is satisfying this condition. So let's move to the given waveforms in the question. In the first waveform you can see the slope at origin is not equal to 0. In the second waveform the slope is equal to 0. In the third waveform the slope is equal to 0. In the fourth waveform the slope is not equal to 0. In the fifth waveform the slope is 0. In the last waveform which is the sixth waveform the slope is again equal to 0. So slope is 0 for B, C, E, F. It is not 0 for A and D. So the last part is having the answer B, C, E and F. So this is all for this question. Don't forget to solve the homework problem and once you have the answer post it in comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.